Jesus died to forgive us all our sins. When he... Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello, Miss Ridley. Bugberta. Oh, hello. Um, what are you doing? Well, look, Miss Ridley, I got us a new sign. Look, look. Bugberta Bugle. B3 Lamb. Boom. Oh, oh. my word, Bugberta. Well, you know, we are studying Bible, Bible science. science. That's why we needed a new sign. It's my lab. Oh, well, we'll leave it there for maybe today. We are learning about experiments in faith. faith. And God created the heavens, heavens and, and the earth, earth. earth. And everything in it. And pure science will always, always Jesus. point us back, back to, to our God. loving creator. Last week we started with the praise experiment. Put your hands up, everybody give him glory. Hands up. That's right. We're supposed to praise. Praise the Lord. And today we're going to talk about the forgiveness experiment. Oh, you've had some practice in forgiving me. Oh. <laughs> the forgiveness experiment. Hey, that reminds me I have an experiment. Okay. You are going to need these gloves, Miss Beverly. Okay. Matchy, matchy. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. All right, so we need to pour this chemical in there. This chemical is acetone. Okay. Children, you can't use it without your parents. So we're going to pour it in this jar. Ooh. All right, can you pour the last one in there? You bet. Okay. All right, so children, what we see here is just a chemical solution. It kind of looks like water. Well, Miss Beverly, can you please tell our friends at home what is this? This is styrofoam. Just plain, <laughs> simple styrofoam. It's stuff like we make our props for VBS and props for kids camp. It's just styrofoam. Okay, nothing special about it. Miss Beverly, please drop your styrofoam into the acetone. This styrofoam yep. into, into the this acetone. acetone. Please watch. Look. Look. No way. Look, Look Miss Beverly. No way. Gone, baby, gone. Look at that. Oh, here, let's do another one. It works. I mean, the molecules for it. Molecules is a big word. The molecules for it are still there, but look. It vanishes in the acetone. It is a chemical reaction. It is scientific. The chemical reaction of the acetone and the styrofoam makes the styrofoam dissolve in there. Oh my word! The styrofoam. Don't get confused. Styrofoam is not the same as your smartphone. Different styrofoam. <laughs> Hello, you get nothing. Right. No, no rollover minutes, no, no nothing. But this is so cool because this goes with our forgiveness experiment. Yes, it, it does. does. Because Jesus makes our sins disappear. Now, maybe the children won't remember the big word of styrofoam. They won't remember acetone. They might not remember that, but if they can remember when they see styrofoam, it represents our sin. And when they think of their mother getting their nail polish off, that's what acetone does, it reminds us of Jesus' forgiveness, and it's gone. Our sins are gone. Yes. Woo! Right. Makes me very happy. Well, that is an amazing thing. What a great experiment to go with our lesson it's today. Very cool. It's very cool, you know, and it's perfect to remember right here at Easter. It is, because Easter is the most important date on the Christian calendar. Oh, my goodness. And Easter is when we celebrate our freedom from sin. The Bible Amen. tells us that we are all sinners. That is a sad thing. It is. But the punishment for sin is death. Oh, no, Miss Beverly, that's terrible. It is terrible. The Bible also tells us that God loved us so much that he sent his only son to take the punishment <gasps> on Jesus. him so we could live. That's awesome. It is. So let's read God's word and see what it says in Luke 23:35. So get that B-I-B-L-E and open it up to Luke 23, 35. 23, 35, 34, 
35. Right there. I got it. Okay. 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 The people stood there watching. They just stood there watching. The rulers even made fun of Jesus. No way. This is terrible. It's terrible. They made fun of Jesus. They said, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the Christ, the chosen one. Sarcasm. Right? They were being terrible. Oh, man. The soldiers also came up and poked fun at him. <gasps> he was dying and they poked fun at him. Yes. They offered him wine vinegar and they said, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Again, sarcasm. Oh, my goodness. A sign written there had been placed above it and it said, This is the king of the Jews. Now, one of the criminals hanging there made fun of Jesus. The people made fun of Jesus. The soldiers made fun of Jesus. And then the other guy on the cross made fun of Jesus. Exactly. Poor Jesus. I know. It was one of his loneliest hours. It says, the other criminal scolded him and said, Don't you have respect for God? We are under the same sentence of death. We are being punished fairly. We're getting what our actions deserve. But this man, he is innocent. He hasn't done anything wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, what I'm telling you is true. Today you will be with me in paradise. Oh, yes. how awesome. Yes. It was about noon. The whole land was covered with darkness until three o'clock. The sun had stopped shining and the temple curtain was torn in two. Jesus called out in a loud voice and he said, Father, into your hands I commit my very life. After he said this, he took his last breath. Yes. Oh, Miss Beverly, this makes me want to cry. This is so sad. It is sad because Jesus really did die on the cross. He did. He was there and, and his oh. other disciples had left him all except John. He was by himself. And there he was with his mother and with Mary Magdalene and just a few other ladies and the crowd was around and they were laughing at him and they were mocking him. The soldiers were mocking him and even when Jesus was right there, he had two thieves on either side of him. And they were making fun. And one of them made fun of him. Too much. Jesus endured the most painful death anyone can ever imagine. And he did it with people standing around cheering for his death. I can't even believe it. And even in the darkest of hours, we can see Jesus knew what he was doing. When the thief on one side said to him, Jesus, remember me. And Jesus said to him, He said, today, today you'll be with me. Yes, today what? you will be with me in paradise. So Jesus took the sins of that thief and he made them Disappear, vanish. vanish. That's right, to vanish. Jesus is so kind. Jesus died to pay the price for our sins. Wow. And if we trust in him, like the thief on the cross did, then our sins will be erased, forgiven, and forgiven, vanished, wow. and we will see heaven. You know, it was just a few months ago, Bug Berta, that we were celebrating Christmas. Feliz Navidad. That's right. And we were celebrating when Jesus was born. Yep. But on Easter Sunday, we remember the day when he died. But that's not the end of the story. He comes he, back. That's right. He <laughs> rose from the dead. Now, if Jesus were any other person in history, when he died on the cross, that would have been the end of his story. End of it. Everybody is born and everyone dies. But death is not the end of Jesus' story. Spoiler alert! Jesus oh. rose from the grave. Up from the grave he rose. And because he lives then we can have forgiveness of sin. That's pretty cool. Now, pretty if there was cool. ever a man who did not deserve to die, it, it was, was Jesus. Jesus. And most important of all, Jesus never, never ever sinned. So, oh, you as, know what? That's pretty amazing to think he never sinned, especially like when he was 12. Exactly. A lot of kids at 12, they get an attitude. Yes. I know none of y'all got an attitude out there. But Jesus never had a bad attitude. No, no. He, he never, never disobeyed his mom and dad. No, he Baby didn't. Was. He was the son of God. And even though he was tempted, he refused to give in to sin. I want to be like Jesus. So Jesus' perfection made him the perfect sacrifice 
for our sin. So cool. He so took cool. the punishment of death on himself so that he could offer us eternal life. Jesus conquered death and he conquered all of our sins when he rose from Woo! the dead. And if we believe in him, then we can receive forgiveness and have eternal life. So as Easter is coming soon, right on the heels of this video, I want you to remember how we saw this styrofoam vanish right before our eyes. That's pretty fantastic, Miss Hurley. And I want you to realize that you can see your sins vanish in the story of Easter. Because God can forgive every sin. And he can give you a clean slate. He can give you new life. Hey, that's like our verse. Mm -hmm. But all you got to do is believe in Jesus, the Son of God, the risen Savior. And you can be saved. You can be saved. Jesus died to Jesus wash died. away all our sins. We have to trust him and let him give us eternal life. That's amazing. So right now, you may have to put TV on pause, but I want you to either go find something you can make a cross out of, and this one was made out of cinnamon stick, or you could get anything you have in your house. Maybe pencils or rulers or... You can use test tubes. That's right. And if you have nothing else at all, then you could just draw a cross draw. on your paper. Excellent. So you need to have your cross, and we need to take a look at our cross. Okay. And as we look at our cross, we're going to remember that Jesus can forgive us. Let's pray together. Okay. And let's remember that Jesus died so we could have forgiveness. So let's pray. Close those eyes and let's pray. Jesus, thank you for coming to our earth, dying on the cross, so that it would pay the price for our sins. And today, as we remember, you died and you can give us forgiveness. So we ask you to forgive us of our sins, to wash our hearts clean, and help us to obey you and to be what you want us to be. Thank you for your forgiveness, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Now, so, well, I feel so good inside, Mr. That's Beverly. what we should feel. Because when we get forgiveness, it's like we're new again. Like we're a new Boom, creation. Boom, shaka we're brand spanking new. Oh, wait, don't say spanking. Nobody likes a spanking. Brand spanking, spanking new, splunking new, spunking new. I don't know. So let's go over our verse, Buck Berta. I know that verse. Because that... Oh, you do? I know that verse. Okay. Give me a beat. Not really. I can do it without a beat. When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. Second Corinthians 5, 17. All right. Let's say it one more time. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. When, when anyone, anyone lives, lives in Christ, Christ the, the new creation, creation has come. come. The, the old is gone, gone the, the new is here. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Miss Beverly, I already have it memorized, but oh. I'm throwing down a challenge to our viewing audience out there. Okay. I want to see how many of our kids can memorize that verse and then get your mom, your dad, your tia, your tio, your abuelita. Wait, you're not supposed to be with your abuelita. Mm -mm. Get somebody to video you and post it either on your Instagram stories and tag us at HCC El Paso or post it back on our Facebook page. Share it with us so we can see you saying this memory verse. All right. Well, let's say it one more time. Okay. All right. Ready? Go. When, when anyone, anyone lives in Christ, Christ the new creation, creation has come. come. Boom. The, the old, old is gone. gone the, the new is, is here. here. Second Corinthians 5.17. All right, Buck Berta, because it's Easter time, we have our memory verse. I'm going to whip you, Miss Berta. Oh, man. I'm going to beat you. Okay, so we'll get it set up and ready to go. Okay, we've cleared off the table, and we have our memory verse eggs. You know what I got? 
scrambled eggs. Oh, oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, if you want to challenge with us, uh -oh. then you need to get your setup ready to go so that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs, and then you can do the competition challenge with us. Oh, no, one so, egg popped open. Memory verse words in seven one eggs. Egg. Okay. Here, Miss Fairley, I need your help. I can't okay. get a snack back. Okay, so here's what we're going to do about Gerda. We're going to count and we're going to start. We're going to open up these eggs and we're going to put our memory verse in order. All right, I'm okay, ready. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Ready. One, two, three. Okay. It's in Christ. Oh, my Can you do it? So let's remember our verse one more time. Okay. okay? When, when anyone lives in Christ, Christ a new creation, creation has come. come. The, the old is gone, the new is here. Second Corinthians 5.17. Miss Beverly is so cool because it just ties in that Jesus died to forgive our sins and that's what makes us a new creation. That's exactly right. So cool. So our PowerPoint today has been Jesus died, died to, to forgive, forgive all, all our, our sins. sins. We need to have his forgiveness. Ooh, I like this experiment today. I know, it's been a great one. So next time we'll see you with a new experiment. Bye.